This video is brought to you by Steve Magus and Chris Carville, the bike lawyers. As an avid cyclist and trial lawyer, Steve has handled more than 450 cases in which cyclists were injured or killed. Like Steve, Chris is an avid cyclist and trial lawyer. You can read about Steve's and Chris's unique bike law practices at OhioBikeLawyer.com and KentuckyBikeLawyer.com. Hey guys, it's Nathan from the Kentucky Cycling YouTube channel. We are in Middlesboro, Kentucky this morning where we're going to ride the Rock the Crater ride. Rock the Crater is the second to last ride in the Kentucky Cycling Challenge series. This particular ride starts in Middlesboro, offers four different routes to choose from. And we're going to do the metric century, which is actually a little less than metric century. We're going to do the 58 mile ride. This is a period where we've had a number of flash floods in Eastern Kentucky. So I want to give a special shout out to our friends in Eastern Kentucky who are suffering from that flash flooding. It's really sad to see. Thinking about you all there in this time, but we're actually a little south of there, but there's still been plenty of rain. We came in last night and actually stayed down at the Wilderness Road campground. Got in a little ride in Virginia and Tennessee. And so today we're gonna finish riding our third state of the weekend, which is a trait of this particular ride. So we can ride in all three states, but the main ride today will be entirely in Kentucky on the Kentucky side of the Cumberland Gap. Looking forward to it. As we pedaled away from the rest stop, we crossed over the Cumberland River 
and made our way northeast along Kentucky 119. While this was a little busier road, it offered beautiful views of the river and the valley to the north. As we veered off onto Kentucky 987, I tried to continue to appreciate the scenery, but also had a small sinking feeling as I knew that we'd have to give back this elevation on the biggest climb of the ride just a few miles down the road on Kentucky 217. To be fair to the ride organizers who reversed sections of the route this year following feedback that the route was too hilly, I was very impressed by just how much of this route ran alongside creeks and rivers which kept the vast majority of this ride on very scenic and minimally hilly low flow roads. finally got up to the big hill, I have to confess to walking sections of it, but relatively speaking, I found it to not be all that bad as it sort of stair-stepped its way up with shorter steep sections and parts that would give way to general inclines in between.
topography in this part of the state is really interesting. In fact, Middlesbrough itself is not very hilly at all, but is hugged in by the mountains around it. The Rock the Crater ride gets its name from the fact that Middlesbrough sits inside a crater that forms part of the string of geological features that made the Cumberland Gap a critical westward passage during the settlement of Kentucky and the Ohio Valley in the late 18th and the early 19th centuries. Without the Middlesbrough crater, it would have been difficult for pack horses to navigate this gap formed by differential erosion along one of the subsequent cross faults and improbable that the wagon roads would have been constructed at an early date. We actually got very lucky with the weather this trip. We had a pretty heavy storm pop up on our Friday ride, but we were able to seek shelter under the awning of a local elementary school before the skies opened up. And that storm cooled things down so that the temperature for Saturday's ride was very pleasant. While we heard reports that some of the Century Riders got rained on, most of us on the Metric Century route were spared getting wet on this ride. Woo! As always, we hope you found this content useful. If you did, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks.